Good morning everybody and uh, this is your DAX day trade setups for today. So we had a pretty uh, aggressive move yesterday based on what the feds said. So they did raise interest rates but obviously they came out with a little bit of a dovish stance. In other words not as aggressive as what they were in the past and uh, that does validate this uh, inverse head and shoulders here. Shoulder, head, shoulder. We've had the break of the neckline. That's the pullback level that we're looking for. So uh, we are still technically in the downtrend, but we're back in amongst the moving averages. So you need to be cautious here, um, especially if you're short. Now, if you look at it on the three hour, we've got a crossover brewing. We're above the 155. Uh, personally, I'm looking for a pullback onto structure in order to buy into this, um, targeting this up the trend line up here. So three hours, not going to give that to me just yet, but the one hour should give me an idea. So a bit of a flag forming. So you're looking for pullback. Now, the challenge is um, we have any one of these tails could offer support. So what we're looking for is the oscillators to ease off back to the downside on the hour. Uh, we've got a, a crossover the moving averages. Uh, I'd like to see another retest of the 155. We've kind of got a few in here, but uh, that was sideways, as I said yesterday. We didn't get a retest of the break. So um, pay attention to your lower time frames. There was a little bit of uh, a gap here. And bear in mind, this is after the after hours. So this happened after hours on the DAX. So I would expect some kind of a pullback, um, either to close the gap of uh, where the DAX actually closed. So it would be around here at 1, at 14, 0. Uh, where's the close? Close, close, sorry, 14, 1, 5, 0. But then there is also another little gap down here, and that's on this bar as the data was released. So that is uh, around 14.076, but I don't think that's the one you're looking for. We're looking for the close at 14.074. So those are the two levels we do need to pay attention to. But then again, this area here could offer some support as well. That would give us a massive gap up on the DAX, um, sort of not on the futures market, but on the actual DAX more. Uh, exchange so you need to pay attention to that uh, could be you know gaps are always targeted for pullbacks but if that gap stays open that's a half decent breakaway gap and breakaway gaps are always fairly bullish uh, for the short term anyway so that's kind of my view on the DAX at the moment is you know it could be a situation that you know we have a inverse head and shoulders and we are looking to validate it um, that is my first view on the hour when you look at this uh, proper break out of structure, second break, um, which was a top neckline basically of that environment. So a uh, bit of a, could be a flat top triangle forming here as well. So in other words, could just break, retest and move. Um, if that happens, 15 minute again is your weapon of choice. But you know, looking at it like this, I don't think that's going to be the situation. I think you're probably going to find Europe just uh, sort of, bounce back, digest the news a little bit. There's still more news coming out tomorrow um, and more and more uh, data coming out today as well, so around the world. So, yeah, uh, everything's pointing to sort of inflation fears not as bad as what it was expected right now. But now you need the rest of the world to sort of um, validate that information and then we all should be uh, back on track and sort of finding ourselves in, in a trend. So yeah, it's still kind of a sit on hands, cautious sit on hands, I think. I don't want to be jumping in long at this level, not with the oscillators like this on the hour. Want to see a pullback, a potential head and shoulders, uh, inverse head and shoulders break. So um, that is what I'm paying attention to. Pullbacks at the moment on the hour are to be bought. A pullback down to this area here of 14.076 gives you a really decent opportunity. It's 149 point uh, stop loss but you have potentially a 650 point gain for the inverse head and shoulders so um well worth watching well worth watching not worth jumping in too long at the moment but uh, wait for the pullback wait for the structure and then there's definitely an opportunity to uh, start building a long position here okay anyway that's kind of my view at the moment i uh, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning cheers for now